What are you doing? Why are you sitting like that? What's <laughs> up, Bobo? You look like a toddler. I know. I bought it extra large because that's my size. I didn't see where it said oversized. It's a there. little oversized. I could wear it as a dress. <laughs> these uh, these flowers. They're kind of a disappointment. Like, yeah, there's some flowers here and there. But for the most part, like 90% of them are dead. I think if we do it again, we need to do it Down in there. the ground. Yeah, we should also probably do it before summer yeah. <laughs> and like in the spring. <laughs> probably. With our big ass pepper plants. We do got some big old peppers going on. <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> right, Charlie, you're around. Charlie's birthday is next month. How old is she going to be? 10. Jesus. She's gonna be 10 years old next month. You know, that, that means she's 70 in dog ears. I know, she's old. Yeah, an old lady. No the old garden is thriving, son. Look at all the peppers that's on that plant Look right at now. these damn peppers. Look, they're all down here. So this is the one that had like one huge one? Yeah. Those are supposed to be bell peppers, by the way. Just kidding. They are not. We don't know what we're growing. They're not like hot though. No, this is what they look like. Yeah, they're like a weird hybrid of a bell pepper. They. I don't know. This one smells kind of spicy. Does a it? Bit. It smells like a, a pepper, like a green pepper. But this one does smell a little bit spicy. Huh. I'm not too sure that it's not crossed with our... The jalapenos. Yeah. Which, by the way, they are they look dead. The plant looks dead. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Hey, look at all these caterpillars. That's why they're dead. Cheese and rice. Caterpillars just munching. Yeah, they... <gasps> There's something on this plant you yeah. need to see. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. The old pepperoncinis. Look. Look at them. They're finally growing. Look how tall that is, too. I That's know. That's a tall plant. So, yeah, y'all can see I put some, like, grapes around these to give it something to kind of grow into. Yeah, I know. The pepperoncinis are finally sprouting. I'm so excited for these. Yeah, I can't wait. The old tomatoes, they, uh... Don't even look at them. Yeah, they were doing good there for a little bit, but now they're pretty much all dead. So. It just didn't grow up. It just grew out and yeah. then on the ground, and we just couldn't keep up. There were so many tomatoes. Yep. So now this just kind of mush. All these caterpillars ain't helping nothing either. Charlie, come here. Goodness. Yeah, I didn't realize that the caterpillars were down here like that. Yeah, I just mowed today. That's a good looking yard. Yeah. Besides all the holes and bumps, and. Just don't look at those. Looks pretty decent. Just squint your eyes at those. Yeah. They don't even know about this yet either. Oh, no, we haven't told them. The old truck. We got a farm truck. It's a uh, rusty, dusty, musty, crusty. Hey. But. It's my childhood truck. Yeah. So whose truck was this? This was my dad's. Yep. He got a new truck. He got a brand new pickup, and he said, "I don't know what I'm gonna do with this." And I said, "I want it." So here we are. <laughs> it's a uh, rusty. It's supposed to have four brakes. It maybe has one. It may, it maybe has a quarter of one. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Like you put the pedal to the floor and you're not stopping. It, no, I figured that out the hard way. This truck, 1995, uh -huh. it idles at 20 miles an hour. Yes, it does. <laughs> you have to put the brakes all the way to the floor for and it to maybe stop, and it won't. It's completely dead right now. Completely dead right now. <laughs> tires are good. The tires are good. That's about the only thing good on it. The interior of this truck, the exhaust is so loud. You can hear us 20 miles away. Yeah. Um, Charlie thinks that it's her grandpa every time the truck starts up because she's so used to dad's truck being like this. Yep. And um, when it does start up, <laughs> it needs a bath. It needs a lot of work. Lot it's of work. basically something for me to work mess on, around with. mess around with, and get running decent enough to where when we do eventually do get animals and stuff like that, when we need to go pick up hay and transport animals and all we that. Can. That's what this truck's going The be best for. thing about this truck is it has four-wheel drive. Yeah, so. And the four-wheel drive works yep. in this truck. That's about the only thing. <laughs> um, there's a cassette player. Yeah, let's show them. In the truck? Little, little farm truck tour. Maybe that's why it's there. Hear that? WD-40. Oh. Door, do door doesn't squeak. They can barely see, but yeah, she's... It's all right. It's dusty. Let's see if she'll start. It tried. It tried. It needs a new battery. But when it has a good battery in it, it cranks right up. Yeah, this is... That's uh, part of the issue. You gotta slam it. No, you're no. not doing it right. When you do it, you gotta pull it back more. And then... Jesus. <laughs> Can you tell that I grew up with this truck? <laughs> but yeah, we got a farm truck. Y'all see that. Once we get animals and stuff. 
that's what we're going to use to haul them. In. Should we talk about what we want to do with the animals? Yeah, might as well. Freaking looks like a jungle growing next to our house. I just don't look at it too much. <laughs> so yeah, eventually we do want to get like what goats and we talked about goats and chickens. Chickens, maybe ducks. I'd like to get a donkey to put in with. I definitely just step in poop. Just keep it pushing. All right. <laughs> I'd like to get a donkey to put in with the animals. A donkey. Yes, because it'll help keep the coyotes away. Yeah. Um. So I'd like to get at least one miniature donkey. Bo was staring at us through the window. <laughs> He's, He's so, so mad. mad. Um, I'd also like to get two cows because they can, if you don't have them a best friend, they'll get depressed. Yeah. Y'all know we got like over 10 acres here, but most of it's woods and like a hill. Except for this area. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. There's hella rocks right here because this is where they had to install our... Uh, septic tank yeah and like the curtain drain and everything so literally 90 percent of this is rocks and there's not much else we can do with it and i can't mow it with my mower because it just tear up my mower so it's just been growing it's pretty maggie where's maggie at? maggie she was in there there's something in there she goes in there and digs and chases maggie oh here she comes you see the weeds moving maggie maggie oh but this kind of area like starting here going down going that way it's probably a fifth acre yeah it's enough to put it's i mean two goats on here yeah I, it's actually pretty big especially if we go like all the way down like past the pecan trees and stuff yeah. like and butt it right up to our property line and then maybe even like extend it down this way eventually we do plan on that's what we kind of want to do yeah. is fence this part in that's kind of why we're just letting it grow because it doesn't really matter. There's no animals that we can put in here right now because yeah. it's dead in the middle of summer and I don't want to have to, we could probably fence it in right now. Yeah. But that's like the only thing that we could really do with it. But yeah, this little area right here, this is kind of what we want to be where our goats and everything. Even though it's right by the house. I'm okay there, with that. Yeah. I'd rather them be by the house so that way it's easier to come check on them. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be in the future. How soon? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. God bless you, my Sorry. child. Maybe this, this fall? I don't know. Yeah, we'll probably try to fence it in this fall. Yeah. We'll start looking at animals. I know people that have goats and donkeys and stuff. We can get, um, oh, we can buy chickens and hatch them ourselves because our neighbor, that's what she does. Sure. So we could buy our own and put them in an incubator yeah. and then hatch them ourselves. So yeah, that's as far as animals go, outdoor animals. That's what Livestock, we're that's what we're thinking. There you go. Bond update, it's there. Looks like a swamp. It's covered in green algae. That's about it. That's kind of an, an update on everything. Well, not exactly everything. <laughs> we do have a surprise. There's one more thing. We got a puppy. We got a new puppy dog. <laughs> this is Tally. Everybody meet Tally. We do win. Tally is a lab. She's a black lab. She's a girl. <laughs> and she grunts like a little pig. She does grunt. <laughs> like all the time. But this is Tally. Yep. Say hi, Tally. We do paws. Yeah, she's gonna be big. <laughs> Those big she's old gonna be big. She's like a little over three months old. She's a big old girl. We've added a new family member, another pupper. Gonna be the biggest pupper we got. Yep. Easily. Oh. 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 <laughs> she's cute. When so last Sunday? Yes, yeah, so almost a we've almost had her a week now. I walked into the living room. I said, I'm bored. And I was like, Well, what do you wanna do? I was like, let's just go to town and get some food. So we got dressed, got in the truck, drove to town, and on our way to Dairy Queen, we passed Save a Lot. All right. And in the Save a Lot parking lot, there's a dude out there in the parking lot with a little trailer. A little horse trailer. With a sign. What did the sign say? Free puppies. And I said, oh. <laughs> I said, it won't hurt to look. JT said it might hurt. I said, no, it won't hurt to look. So we got our food. And for some reason, we went and looked. And they had a bunch of these little things running there around. There were so many. There was like eight or ten of them. They were, they were so cute. Um, we're lucky we only brought one home. I wanted them all. But yeah. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> they were giving them away, or you could pay like $25 to like, you know, just help them out with all the other puppies they have and everything. So we were looking around, and we picked this one. It was pretty easy to pick her, too. Yeah. She was just kind of sitting there. All the, the rest of them, they were, like, freaking out and fighting. Well, she was sitting just like this. Yep. There, she was just sitting there, just looking at us. And I said, what are you doing? And she said, okay. Yep. Came, Came right up, up to us. She laid her head on my shoulder, and I said, all right, she can go home with yep. us. I didn't want to get another dog, but uh, so I looked I at her. She was giving me puppy dog eyes. Then I looked at the puppy dog, and it was giving me puppy dog eyes. So now we have a puppy dog. <laughs> yeah. Now we got a puppy. So this is Miss Tally. Tally. What are you doing, puppy? Huh? Little Tally girl. 
She's doing pretty good. Yeah. It's scary. It's always scary when you like buy a or get a puppy from somebody you don't know, like the history of them. We kind of took a chance when we got her. You know, she could have had like Parvo or whatever, and then brought it home and gave it to all of our dogs, and then God knows what would have happened. But yeah, like the next day, we took her to the vet, and like we got like, you know, like grunt. Like grunt. We got all the tests ran on her, like for Parvo and worms and all that, and she did come back negative for Parvo, so that's good. But she did have worms. They lied. They did not deworm them. If they did, it didn't work. Yeah. And she had like a stool infection or something, so like she wasn't pooping. And she had no interest in food for like the first three days. At all. Like she would not eat, wouldn't eat treats or nothing. No. But they gave her some medicine there for like the worms and everything. And then she has medicine that she's been taking every day for like the infection. Well, it's been like three more days. Yeah, maybe three more days. This dog can't eat enough. No. She is, like she's always hungry. She wants to eat the entire time. And she's feeling a lot better. Like the first few days she wasn't showing any like personality. No, she just laid around. She just laid there, wouldn't eat. No. Would just sit there and stare at you. She just felt so bad. But she got some medicine in her, got her feeling better, and now she's barking at everybody. She's done. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of videos. Here you go. <laughs> you ready to meet your sister? They've snipped my shirt already, so they kind of know what she smells like. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't jump. Quit. Quit. Like tail, <laughs> Are you excited? What do you think? You want to get to know him? What do you think, Maggie? Charlie just went straight out to pee. Yep. <laughs> what do you think? Maggie, we got you a puppy! Maggie's like, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> what are you doing, pup? Good job. Got so many toys you don't know what to do with them, huh? Huh. So many toys you don't know what to do with them. Nope. All the toys you can want. What, you want a bear? Nope. Maggie wants a bear. What do you think? What do you think, Bobo? <laughs> Uh-oh. Big bone will work. Big old bone.
Really? <laughs> this is all Maggie has ever wanted. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the hiccups. Poor puppy dog. Poor puppy dog. Hey, what do you got? Tail. <laughs> Tail. Woman, why are you peeing and holding a cup? What do you got? We got. Let me see. She's a mess. She's an absolute mess. Ain't but she? she just fits in so perfectly. She does. She does. She loves Bo. I mean, Bo is her best friend. I think yep. I think wherever she came from, they might have had cats. Because, like, she wouldn't really get close to Maggie or Charlie at first. But as soon as she seen Bo, she ran right so up to excited. him. So excited. Yeah. Wagging her tail and everything. Yeah, they're going to be best friends, ain't you? Charlie wants to pretend like she doesn't like her. But she falls asleep next to her all the time. Yep. And then she'll wake up and be like, oh, right. I'm not supposed to like you yet. <laughs> she'll go lay somewhere else. Maggie's warming up to her. They've been playing and stuff, playing in the pool with each other and playing with toys and stuff. She loves bones. She loves bones. That's her you? favorite thing. Don't you? I think it's because she's teething. Yeah. So she likes to chew on whatever she can get her mouth on. Caught her earlier with a sock. <laughs> I was in my office the other day and I just heard something like dragging behind me. She had my backpack in her mouth and was just dragging it across the yard or the, the floor. Pretty good about it. You're a mess, ain't you? You're a yeah. mess. Why you be no mess? But yeah, obviously she's feeling a lot better now. I hope whoever took any of her brothers or sisters, they also took them to the vet and got them medicine. Because they were all, like, they, they the rest of them, they were, like, running around and, like, wrestling and stuff and playing but they were also the size of maggie and they were all they were all real bloated like all of them had like real big pot bellies and we're pretty sure we're pretty sure they were doing one or two things one of two things they were feeding them table scraps or they were feeding them like grown dog food you know like adult dog food and that's why it was causing the bloating yeah that's why like her, their bellies were hurting and stuff because like the the second day she was here she still wasn't interested in like dog food or treats or anything but i made a bowl of noodles and dude she got a whiff of the noodles and started going crazy like I, this dog hasn't acted like this at all she was wagging her tail jumping up on me like she was like hey that's food let me get some of that but when it came to like the wet puppy food or even like dry dog food she had no interest in it Wouldn't or treats or anything it. yeah now we can't get her to stop eating now she's constantly <laughs> hungry ain't you ain't you puppy dog come on tally look how cute her is how you doing puppy dog <laughs> look how cute her is come on let's go inside come on let's go in the house tally has like a weird thing with doors when we like try to let her in we have to like hide behind the door for her to come back inside Bubba. What are you doing? What are you doing, my boy? Yeah, uh, it's been a month since we've last posted on this channel. We're, We're sorry. so sorry. There's we've, been a lot going on. We've literally just had so much going on. And now we got even more. <laughs> Ain't that right? Look at you. <laughs> She's so attached to me, it's actually ridiculous. I like, know. I'm a little offended. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what I did. I was just a hair. <laughs> I know. She is attached to JT because he is working from home. Yeah. And so you're here with her five days a week. But on the weekends, this is how she sits. So she tries to sleep in the bed with us. She's kind of like super independent when it comes to sleeping. She likes to lay in the floor. Yeah. She doesn't really like to lay on the bed with us. She likes to be on the floor yeah. on her Crocs specifically. Literally, like she will she, lay. I have my Crocs on. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we usually put our Crocs like right here. She just lays across our Crocs. She loves laying on her Crocs. Bobo. Bobo. Are you hungry, son? You hungry? What are we doing? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Oh, Margaret. Can't forget about you. So, yeah, we got a zoo in the house now. Welcome to the jungle. Yep. Literally. Good job. <laughs> she I want already you, did it. I want you to do it on command, but come here. Sit. Hey, Charlie. Sit. Good girl. Charlie, sit. Me too. Good girl. Sit. Sit. <laughs> sit <girl. laughs> she said, I am sitting. In case you're wondering what our house sounds like. <laughs> Tally. Sit. Sit. Big girl. They're so smart. There you go. So 
So yeah, new pupper. New pupper. A family of one, two, three, four, five, six. That just dawned on me. That's ridiculous. Have six things living in this house and they all like to get the zoomies at the same time so it's awful. <laughs> we are back we appreciate you guys so much if you all want to see the fencing videos please let us know because we need to <laughs> try to get that planned here pretty soon yeah yeah we appreciate you guys so much jt and hannah yeah